When working on your home network, it is very easy and sometimes more convenient to use the wrong user account credentials to access a network share. So if you have used your administrator credentials to give someone quick access to a network share, and then instinctively ask Windows to remember those credentials, that user account will now have administrator rights over all of the shares on your home network. In order to remove a user's saved credentials, if from the desktop we first select search, and then from within the search field we type cred, within the search results you will find listed Credential Manager. When we select Credential Manager, a window will open displaying two icons, Web Credentials and Windows Credentials. By selecting Windows Credentials, we're presented with a list of all of the login information that Windows uses to connect to either applications or networks. By visually searching this list, we should be able to locate the network credentials that are being used to access the shared folders for our home network. If we select the down chevron, we can review the user account that is being used to access our network shares. If we now select remove, we're asked to confirm that we want to permanently delete this Windows credential. We now need to select yes and close credential manager. Next, we need to log out of this user's account. This is because Windows is currently caching user credentials in its memory, which includes the one that we've just deleted from credential manager. When we log out of Windows, Windows will clear all user credentials from memory, so that when we log back into our user account and try and connect to our network shares, we will once again be prompted to enter a valid username and password.